Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 76 rated St. Patrick's Day Aiden McGeady. Now, a lot of people would have submitted this card into the um, Schweinsteiger Van Persie, um, Rooney or Yaya Torre SBC, but I decided to keep him just because he's a special card and he does have the five star skill moves, and he also has a slight upgrade over his normal card. So moving on into the in-game stats now, as you can see, acceleration, shooting, and a Passing. It isn't really the best, but he has really good dribbling stats, and as you can see there, he has that 95 agility, and I would say that agility is the most important stat when it comes down to scaling, so today we're going to be putting that to the test. So now moving on into the highlights with Magidi. Now I'm just going to say this now, this guy is one of the best scalers, if not the best scaler on FIFA 18. And if you have um, submitted this card into one of the SBCs and you are a scaler, um, you are definitely going to regret it after watching this player review because he just performs skill moves so quickly that 95 agility, you can feel it in game. It's just absolutely insane. This guy, in my opinion, is better than Ronaldinho when it comes to scaling, better than Neymar. He's just so, so good and I don't even know what it is about the card. He's only had sort of a minor upgrade compared to his normal 75 rated card um, but for some reason this card just feels so much better and you'll definitely see from um, looking at the video how good this guy is so the first pro with this card is his agility as I've already said multiple times already just that 95 agility it just makes this guy so so good for scaling then after that is his dribbling um, again, you know, just keeps it so close to his feet, um, has really good dribbling, really good agility, and when you put both of those things together, you, you just have an absolutely insane skiller. And then the final pro I could find on this card was this guy's ball control. Now, when he does have the ball, he keeps it so, so close to his feet, it's literally impossible to get the ball off him, um, unless you do, like, outstrength him. So then moving on into the cons, um, the first con I could find on this card was his strength. He is pretty weak on the ball. Um, his physique makes him feel a little less weak than he actually is just because he has quite a bulky physique. Um, and then the final con I found with this card was his finishing. Now his finishing wasn't the worst, um, but it is pretty low, so we will um, miss quite a few chances um, that you would expect you know, some players to score. Um, so yeah, moving on to the work rates. Now he's got high medium work rates. He always seems to be in the right position for me, so his work rates weren't a problem. Um, he's also got a force of weak foot, so we can finish on that weak foot. As you can see there, a really nice left footed um, driven finish into the corner, and that's what I'd recommend to do with Magidi. I found um, the most successful way to score with him is when you've done the skill run um, take the low driven finish into the bottom corner and the majority of times it does go in so as you can see again we do some really nice skill moves there nice running waka waka um, do a nice body feint plus the player to a step over to a waka waka to a ball roll and then we finish it off very nicely on that weaker left foot so guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview So now moving on to the overview for St. Patrick's Day McGeady, I'm going to give him a value of coins out 10 out of 10 just because this card is free so you know you can't really complain about that. Enjoyment wise I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well, this card was so enjoyable to use especially when it comes down to skilling. Competitiveness wise I'm only going to give him a 5 out of 10 just because um, from a competitive point of view you wouldn't really think this guy is very good um, and in, if you don't really know how to perform skill moves then this card is just basically an average card. Scaling wise I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10, this guy is hands down one of the best skillers on FIFA 18 and probably one of my favourites if not my favourite on the whole game and then I'm going to give him an overall rating of a 9.5 out of 10. So guys if you did enjoy this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.